Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. For today's video, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the 2019 Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat Red Eye. In this review, I'm going to cover all of the ins and outs, including everything that sets the Red Eye apart from your regular Hellcat. I'll also take it for a thorough drive, both on the road and the track, and get plenty of sound clips. There's a lot of stuff to talk about, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up and let her run. Last year, Dodge introduced a new wide-body option for the Challenger Hellcat. The whole point was to increase grip so the car could better transmit its power to the ground. This year, along with several important updates to the Challenger lineup, we're treated to the Hellcat Red Eye. Available in both normal and wide-body configurations, the Red Eye can be thought of as a demon-possessed Hellcat, featuring nearly 800 horsepower from a high-output supercharged Hemi. Unlike the Demon, which was built for the very specific purpose of drag racing, the Red Eye isn't a limited production model. It leverages the power and performance of an already incredible engine to bring a car that can be enjoyed on the regular by a wider range of customers. The wide body treatment is a $6,000 option that's now being extended to the RT Scat Pack for 2019. It includes the Demon's flared wheel arches along with an exclusive wheel and tire package. The flares are an integral part of the body, not just some add-on. They widen the car's stance by three and a half inches. All of the attachment points are concealed for excellent fit and finish. The front side marker lights are even styled in a way so that they flow with the shape of the flares. The rest of the car is pretty much identical to a standard Hellcat, aside from the front splitter which is also shared with the Demon. Subtle tweaks introduced to the Hellcat last year included a new grille, new fender badges, and a new raised badge on the rear spoiler. The red eye distinguishes itself with red jewel-like eyes on the existing Hellcat logos and unique midnight gray fender badges. There's also a new rear spoiler available this year that's longer and wider than the one used in prior years. My favorite styling element are the air catcher headlamps. They're illuminated and each bear the Hellcat logo. The driver's side feeds air to the engine intake while the other feeds air to the engine compartment for additional cooling. There's an incredible amount of information I want to be covering today with an end goal of giving you a deep dive into what makes the Red Eyes so special. Pricing before options will start at $72,745. That includes a $1,700 gas guzzler tax and a $1,395 destination charge. This example is equipped with just about every option available. Total as tested price is $88,900. However, the biggest piece of news for 2019 is a new, lower starting price for the standard Hellcat. At $58,650, it's more than $5,000 less than the 2018 model, making it even more accessible for folks who would rather do without some of the creature comforts and fancy bits. Just like any other Challenger, the Red Eye comes with a 3-year, 36,000-mile limited warranty and a 5-year, 60,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Referred to as the Devil's Rim, this split 5-spoke wheel design is unique to the wide body package. They measure 20 by 11 inches at each corner and are wrapped in 30535 3-season three Pirelli tires. In comparison, a standard Hellcat rides on 20 by 9.5 inch wheels and 275 40 tires. As you might imagine, handling improves significantly with the wide body. Lateral skid pad grip increases from a maximum of 0.93 G to 0.97 G. As a byproduct, acceleration and braking performance also see improvements. Providing strong stopping power are the same Brembo brakes found in the standard Hellcat and the SRT392. There's 15.4 inch discs and 6 piston calipers up front, along with 13.8 inch discs and 4 piston calipers in the rear. When the wide body package was first introduced, it was the only Hellcat to feature electric power steering. 
Now for 2019, it's standard across the board. Compared to last year's models that retained a fixed displacement hydraulic pump, there is a slight improvement in steering feel, especially at lower speeds, where the car seems to be easier to maneuver. It's nice and firm and not overly boosted. Turning is sharp and responsive. This setup also allows you to tailor the steering feel between the SRT drive modes. Underpinning the Challenger is a fully independent suspension with SRT-specific geometry that consists of unequal link double wishbones up front, a five-link design in the rear, hollow stabilizer bars, and three-way Bilstein adaptive dampers that can be stiffened on demand to reduce body roll. Ride quality is on the firm side, but it's still compliant enough to enjoy on a daily basis. Of course, the biggest downside of the Challenger is weight. A red-eye wide body tips the scales at just under 4,500 pounds, making it about 50 pounds heavier than a standard Hellcat. This isn't a sports car in the same sense as a Mustang or Camaro. It's the modern equivalent of classic American muscle. That being said, it actually handles itself pretty well. The wide body in particular gets the power to the ground with greater confidence. Plus, the limits are quite predictable. It's a wildly entertaining drive to say the least. In case you didn't know, the Hellcat and RT Scat Pack are offered with a rear seat delete option, which allows customers to delete the rear seats, rear seat belts, and add a rear cargo net to save about 50 pounds. Of course, launch control comes standard, but like the Demon, the Red Eye takes it one step further by including a system called Launch Assist. It's an electronic system that mitigates wheel hop by using wheel speed sensors to monitor for signs of slipping or sticking. If slip is detected, a control module momentarily reduces engine torque to regain traction within milliseconds without having to take your foot off the throttle. This reduces loads in the drivetrain caused by wheel hop by about 15 to 20%, leading to cleaner launches and less chances of driveline component damage. Line lock is also included. When engaged, it allows you to perform a controlled burnout with the front wheels locked. This serves not only to heat up the tires for better grip, but to clean them too and remove loose debris. The heart of the Red Eye comes from the limited production Demon. It's a high output variant of the Hellcat's supercharged 6.2 liter V8 that develops 797 horsepower and 707 pound-feet of torque. This is an engineering tour de force that features so many new parts inside and out. The differences in output between the Demon and Red Eye boil down to different air induction systems and calibrations. What's most impressive to me is not how much power the engine makes, but the fact that it's still backed by a full powertrain warranty while meeting all applicable legal emissions regulations. Cosmetically, the Red Eye's engine features black valve covers, a red block, and a unique emblem on top of the supercharger. It's constructed with all of the same changes you would find in the Demon's engine. If you would like to learn more about all of those specifics, I included my Demon review in the description box below where I go super in-depth into all of it. With the wide body package, the Red Eye should be able to hit 60 miles an hour in about 3.3 seconds. It can also fly through a quarter mile at 10.8 seconds at 131 miles per hour. When it comes to top speed, the Red Eye improves it by 8 compared to a regular Hellcat wide body, meaning this thing can accelerate to 203 miles per hour. To achieve this level of performance, an engine has to be able to breathe as freely as possible. This comes courtesy of a low restriction induction system that allows air to flow at a rate of 1,134 cubic feet per minute. That's about an 18% improvement over a standard Hellcat. At the heart of the system is a large air box that collects air from three different sources. The most noticeable is the new dual snorkel hood which seals directly to the air box. The other two sources include the air catcher headlamp and an extra inlet near the wheel well. The hood is a new feature for all 2019 Hellcats. It's part of the reason why the standard output was boosted to 717 horsepower and 656 pound-feet of torque versus 707 and 650 respectively. The Red Eye also benefits from the Demon's redesigned cooling system. It's comprised of two important elements. The first is the SRT Power Chiller. It redirects air conditioning refrigerant from the interior to a chiller unit mounted by the low temperature circuit coolant pump. After being cooled by the ambient air passing through the low temperature radiator at the front of the car, the charged air coolant flows through the chiller unit to cool it even further before flowing to the heat exchangers in the supercharger. This helps lower the temperature of the charge air significantly. 
The Demon's After Run Cooler is now included on all 2019 Hellcats. It keeps the engine's cooling fan and low temperature circuit coolant pump running for a period of time once the engine is shut off. It works to lower the temperature of the supercharger and heat exchangers, helping minimize heat soak effects. The process can be tracked through the Uconnect system. There you can see in real time when everything is back at their optimum temperature before heading out for another run around the track or down the drag strip. Power is harnessed by an 8-speed automatic transmission. Torque delivery at the rear is controlled by an electronic limit of differential. Along with leaving the transmission to do its own thing, you can select gears manually by the console shifter or by a set of metal paddle shifters in the back of the steering wheel. Gear changes occur with near dual clutch levels of quickness. Unlike the standard Hellcat, which is offered with the choice of a manual transmission, the Red Eye, like the Demon, is automatic only. For the most part, it's the same ZF 8HP 90 unit that's offered in the Hellcat, with the exception of an upgraded torque converter. The Red Eye does not share the Demon's trans brake, but it does have an adaptation of the torque reserve feature. In order to handle the incredible amount of torque this engine produces, all of the driveline components had to be upgraded, including the drive shaft, differential, half shafts, and more. When it comes to final drive, you now have a choice between a standard 2.62 to 1 ratio or a shorter 3.09 to 1 ratio if you wanted enhanced launch capability. The instant throttle response and wealth of torque that this engine generates is nothing short of impressive. It's so raw, unapologetic, and excessive in every way possible, but I'm so glad it exists. This engine also has unique headers compared to the standard Hellcat engine, so you'll notice it's quite a bit louder. Between the Hellcat's drive modes, you can selectively modify the engine's power output, steering and suspension firmness, traction control innervation, and the transmission's shift algorithm. Along with the launch control system and programmable shift light, you can modify the launch RPM to account for the different levels of grip you have from tires and road surfaces. EPA fuel economy estimates range between 13 miles per gallon in the city and 22 miles per gallon on the highway. You can expect an average in normal mixed driving to be around 16 miles per gallon. Dodge requires the use of premium 91 octane fuel with a total capacity of 18.5 gallons. The Red Eye's interior mirrors that of the standard Hellcat with segment leading build quality. There's a plethora of soft touch materials, hectic aluminum bezels around the dashboard and center console, as well as tasteful chrome detailing and soft white ambient lighting. The layout of the interior is inspired by the 1971 Challenger, decidedly old school with a modern twist. The Red Eye sets itself apart with some subtle differences, including a 220 miles per hour red speedometer, SRT Hellcat Red Eye logo splash screen, light black chrome instrument panel badge with the Red Eye logo, and Red Eye logos on the key fobs. The driver's seat offers six-way power adjustments and four-way power lumbar. There's plenty of padding and excellent overall support to keep things comfortable and hold you in tight around corners. If you go for the supple Laguna leather seating surfaces shown on this example, you have two color options, all black or sepia. A combination of Napa leather and Alcantara upholstery is also available as a no-cost option. If you go for that, you'll also have a red interior option. Heated and ventilated seats are standard on this grade, as well as a heated steering wheel. If there's two things the Challenger is not short on, it's passenger space and storage space. You're not only able to sit three people in the back seat, but with best-in-class headroom and legroom, even if you're around six feet tall, you'll still be comfortable enough to sit back there for longer periods of time. Rear seat amenities include adjustable air vents, padded armrests, LED illumination, fixed headrests, and a fold-down armrest with two cup holders. As far as safety, the Challenger packs multi-stage driver and front passenger airbags, front seat mounted side airbags, a driver's knee airbag, and side curtain airbags for the front and rear. Blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert is standard, along with rear park assist and a backup camera. There's a lot of standard features including a thoroughly updated Uconnect infotainment system, navigation, satellite radio, Bluetooth connectivity, and dual zone climate control. A premium Harman Kardon surround sound system is optional. Other standard features include a variety of apps such as SRT performance pages and even some smartphone integration technologies such as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Pop the trunk and you'll find 16.2 cubic feet worth of cargo space. 
While the lift height is on the high side, the opening is quite large, so you can accommodate larger items that you probably couldn't do in the Mustang or the Camaro. You can also fold down the back seat for extra storage space. There's a tire inflation kit and the battery located underneath the trunk floor, along with the Harman Kardon subwoofers if you go for the premium audio system. Now before we close the video out, let's go ahead and see how she sounds. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at the new Challenger SRT Hellcat Red Eye. Be sure to stay tuned next time, leave a like and subscribe today, there's always a lot more where that came from. Take care everyone.